What is the one biggest factor that affects whether someone watches your YouTube video or not? Yep, the thumbnail. Watch this video for my step-by-step -step tutorial showing you how to make the perfect YouTube thumbnails. For the best blogging advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Monday. If you're struggling to get views on YouTube, or perhaps you don't even add custom thumbnails, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why you should, what those thumbnails should contain, and how to design brilliant ones using free design software. I've recently changed my thumbnails and I've seen a huge increase in traffic since doing so. 100 hours of videos are uploaded to YouTube every single minute, so you really have to stand out. So the keys are to create thumbnails that are attention grabbing and clickable, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's get stuck in. I'm going to be using Canva, which is a free web-based program that you can use to create all of your graphics. So I'm gonna share with you the main things a thumbnail needs to have in order to be memorable, attention grabbing and clickable. I'm also gonna go through as I share those things with you and create a thumbnail. So we're in Canva, which is canva.com, free web-based design software. And if you go to the main page and scroll down, there's one already set up for YouTube thumbnail. So you know that's gonna be the right size. So we're gonna select that one. And the first thing your thumbnail needs is a close up of someone's face. And that's normally gonna be you. People want to connect with other people and so we're really drawn to other faces. On lots of thumbnails there are cutouts of people on a background and you can see I've got some here. So this is quite a popular thing to do to have your thumbnail and then have a cutout of yourself on the thumbnail. But you don't have to do that, you can just use a normal image. But this is a style that is quite popular on YouTube so I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. So if you want to know how you can create these cutout shapes, I have another video which shows you how to do this with an app in about 30 seconds, and I'll link that into the cards. So we've got our person, so we've got a close up of someone's face, in this case it's mine, and then we need to think about the next important consideration is color. Eye catching bright colors are really favored and get more click throughs on YouTube. And imagine the thumbnail side by side Imagine a sort of pastel one or a bright colored one and think which one you would click. Now we don't have to be gaudy and over the top with them, but we do have to use color strategically in order for our thumbnails to stand out. That is basically the thing that people are making a decision on is the design of the thumbnail. Then they're gonna read the title and the words on it, but the initial decision to click or not is going to be purely on the design. So what we can do is we can change our background colour, so we just go over here and we can pick any of these background colours we choose, and obviously that's a bit in your face, some people would use that, I wouldn't, but I have uh, uploads already in, so mine aren't necessarily bright in terms of the background, so I use these. So I grab, drag these over, and then I, if that hadn't have happened, I'd have just clicked on and brought that to the front up here. But that's how I do mine, and I add the, the bright colour with my lettering and the background. So that's how I tend to do mine. And I alternate between the blue colour and the pink colour on thumbnails where, where I can. So every other upload, I'll change it just to give some variation, but they're still along the same theme. And that goes uh, with my brand as well. So that's obviously important too. So bright colours are statistically proven to get most clicks. So the thing to remember is consistency is key. You want the thumbnails of your channel to look cohesive and then people start recognising your thumbnails and start to be drawn to them. So keep a theme running as I do. I alternate the two backgrounds and I also switch left to right as well. So obviously I shoot some this way when I'm taking the images and some the other way. And some of them I'm not pointing or doing anything ridiculous. I'm just on the screen so but I will try and change left to right as well as alternate in the background just to break it up so if I go over now and show you my YouTube channel you can see exactly what I mean so they're all the same you know who you know which videos these are you know they're all together I alternate the sides and the colors where possible these are some old videos that haven't had the thumbnails updated and you can see the difference so if you were faced with this these videos or these videos i'm sure you would click on these videos more they are far more clickable obviously i did a series so they were all in the same but even they stand out more than for example these ones so you can see going to have no thumbnails is not good at all so this keeps it on brand they're the same but they have a variety so 
So I'd also keep a template. So I would change that to YouTube template and then save it. And I would have a pink one and a blue one underneath. And I would have, I'd take that off, but I would have this be in the blue. And I would just set it up so that it's really easy for me to just create a load of thumbnails without having to spend too much time messing around. So if I had that there, obviously I put my lettering in. So every time I can just swap out the image and I can drop in new let new words and I there save my thumbnail and I'm done. I don't have to get the background and resave anything. It's all just gonna be on there. Obviously I have got those set up, but for the purposes of showing you this, we've got blank ones. So let me know in the comments if you know which color has been statistically proven to be the most clickable on YouTube thumbnails and I'll share the right answer at the end. You can go to text and you can pick one of these and stick one of these on and then that can be your title. You could change this color, whatever you choose. But if I get rid of that, how I choose to do it is on boxes. So I have the rectangles, which I can make out of a square. So I'm just gonna resize and drag over and then I'm gonna copy and copy because I want normally things I say are gonna be easily spread over three lines. So I'm gonna try and adjust them like this. I'm not too fussed if they don't, if it doesn't end up staying like this. And then I change, change the colors of the backgrounds just by clicking on it and then changing the color and then clicking on it and changing the color. So I have like, it's all brown colors. It is bright, but I'm not going too gaudy with the background, which might just be a little bit much. And then all I'm gonna do is put text over the top of that. So I'm gonna get some, so obviously I could just press T or I'm gonna just drop in some text. I think the one I use is League Spartan. And then obviously I want that to be, I have it as caps, and then we'll drop it down a little bit in size. We don't want it to be, we want it to be big, because remember when we scroll, when we make thumbnails, they go small on a phone. So what you can do here is you can just uh, make it smaller, and then you can see how, if that's a phone size, is that a phone size? That's too small, but could would you still be able to read them? Is So that's a good, a good test there is to create it and then make it smaller so you can see whether it still works. Now I change, I, for some reason I think it always looks better with, nearly always looks better with white font. And then I just copy and drag it down, get it in the middle. I, I always justify here on this side, on the left side for my thumbnails. And again, copy and drag down. And then obviously I change the words to whatever was relevant for that post. So if you wanted to add your logo, you can. You can just go here, you can find your logo. For example, say that's my logo, it's not, but we can um, reduce that and you could pop it. Maybe you always pop it in a certain place, but I, I don't, I, I, I don't brand mine. There we go. You could pop it there and that could be your, your thing. I think your YouTube channel's branded enough, really. But that's definitely something you can do. So if I was dropping in one on here, I'd drop in on one pointing on that side, move that over, put my letters on that side so that I would be having that variety. And on your thumbnails, you might choose to add a description a little bit more than just your your title on your YouTube videos. You might change it slightly and not have the exact title if, to make it enticing, but I always keep it the same title and then it's really obvious what they're getting when they click on the video. So I hope that's helped and shown you how you can create a, quite an effective thumbnail in a couple of minutes with free software. So in answer to my earlier question, which color gets the most clicks on YouTube thumbnails? It's yellow. Did you get it right? So now you know exactly how to create the perfect YouTube thumbnail, but what if you don't really know which designs you like and which you don't, or you've not got time? Don't worry, I've created 10 Canva templates for YouTube thumbnails that you can grab. Just click the link below and get access to them there. Also, if you want to join a community of women just like you, I have a secret society where I share up-to-date blog and biz tips that will help you turn your blog into a business. So if you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe and share it with your friends and comment helpful if you found this video helpful. I'll see you soon.